it all on the train now uh, heading for the airport of course uh, I found a nice video yesterday by SAS Cargo you should take a look and also follow them on, on Instagram or LinkedIn good work I like it show you how we keep the balance of the plane today with the cargo and with fuel and with lots of uh, technical innovations. Let's go out. I'll show you something interesting. Hey Marie. Hey. of the plane is is very important and that means that the loading and the load and the passenger uh, it's planned forward aft and here you can see that the plane is being loaded for forward in the forward cargo waiting to my colleague yeah you know uh, Cargo at the front makes it no heavy, of course, and in the back makes it tail heavy. And the best is to have a slight tail heavy plane, of course. Hello, Hi. a no heavy plane must be compensated with a downforce on the stabilizer if you have a lot of downforce on the stabilizer you must increase the lift on the main wing more lift on the main wing means that you will have a stronger vortex from the underside to the upper side of the wing that's where the low pressure is and that's making the plane fly more vortex means more induced drag and more fuel consumption you can compensate a bit by having winglets on the plane uh, that's a substitute for more span you can either have longer span like on the Boeing 777 or a winglet of course ideal is having a very smooth winglet like on the Airbus 350 uh, the, the back side of the larger span on a wing is that it takes more room on, at the airport it takes more space but this one takes less space and has an advantage. It's a structural and uh, aerodynamic advantage to have. Uh, it's simpler to have a more span, of course. But then you have the disadvantage with the with the space needed at the airport. The plane is balanced with the loading with a little downforce, just a little bit, because we need a stable plane. The flight control laws can compensate a bit for, for instability, but not so much. It's still a stable, stable plane. When we fly and pass through around, I think it is level of flight level 250. We pump fuel from the main wing to a trim tank in the tail to get, because more stability is needed for takeoff and landing than at the cruise. I will show that later when we're in the cockpit, the fuel transfer going aft. So then we have reduced stability, but that's perfectly fine. Less stability is good, more tail heavy plane with the fuel aft and less drag from the induced drag.
it's all about fuel saving and optimization. The loading is the load is planned so that every pallet or container is in a certain position to give this optimum balance on the fuel. Let's go up and check the latches. Hello. Hi. I can visa them. Yeah. I'll them so. The pallets are latched with several latches, so they don't move when we when we fly or for example in the takeoff that's very important and my colleague is checking this very carefully he's doing a great job and here's another pallet coming in i will stay out of the way i really like to watch this this is really important infrastructure it can be for cars but it can also be for construction equipment and if they don't get the parts you cannot build things in the USA so it's really important that we get this cargo on board the plane adjusting and the cargo going in and then off to be latched I really like to watch this. And my colleagues now is latching the cargo, the pallets. No, now we do it from the cockpit. Yeah, yeah. So we have insulin on board too. That's good. We like. Okay, going down now. Hey, do. Hey, hey, good tour. Thanks, Ro. Yeah, we're setting the temperature in the cockpit on this plane. I really like to go down and say hello to my colleagues doing a great work down here. Uh, I have time because. I'm out here around one hour before departure and that's, that's just perfect, plenty of time. It's about team building. Okay, let's go to the cockpit then, prepare. Takes maybe 30 minutes, 45 minutes to prepare the cockpit for the flight. Looks nice, doesn't it? Okay, let's start working. Okay, beautiful departure. 10 minutes early so we can uh, Slow down a bit and uh, save fuel. Passing level uh, 240 now, climbing. This is Denmark. I adjust the scale with this one. And yeah, Denmark and Norway here. Beautiful. Uh, we can see now our center of gravity is 24.2. We'll see now what happens with the fuel transfer system when we pass through 250. Here we have the fuel in the off tank. Level 255 now climbing. And you see here what happens. Fuel is transferred from the main tanks to the off-trained tanks. 
and this is going to change the center of gravity to a more uh, tail heavy okay, plane for less fuel consumption. Go ahead, Clever. Uh, and you see the center of gravity in right percent is one increasing. Below your plane level, so you can expect a bit of when clear. Right there, thank you, Blackbird 1 2. Okay, cruising altitude now, level 340, Norway, and some lunch will be good. And now we can see the, that we have had some fuel transfer. More than two tons has been transferred off to the trim tank and center of gravity is increasing in, the, in percent, which means that it's more tail heavy now than we, we started there. At takeoff, we had 2,400 in the uh, in the trim tank. Now 4,700 almost. All for better fuel economy. You can also see it here on the trim. This is a uh, trim wheels for the stabilizer setting, and you can see that this is going off too. Smart. I guess we're gonna see a very long sunset because we are flying towards the sun. We have some light uh, turbulence here. It's in the top of clouds, you can see. So we're climbing a little higher, so we have um, smoother air. Climbing level 360, and you can see it here, 360. I think it, it will be better, more comfortable for the passengers. Level 360 now, much better. Smooth air, no turbulence. Perfect. to landing and we have consumed some fuel so check what's happening now now the trim tank is emptied and the fuel is moving forward because now it's preparing it's preparing for the landing and shifting the center of gravity to further forward again and here you can see the fuel is fed to the main tanks again. There's been uh, two sunsets today. First, when we were flying a little bit north, we had a sunset. Now the sun is coming up again in the west because we are flying faster than the earth rotation at this 
latitude and latitude is north 54 and you can see here on the ECAM what's happening trim tank transfer Chicago now and uh, talking to Minneapolis Center on the radio Chicago is here level 410 right now with a beautiful sunset time to land KLM 48 contact Toronto Center on 134.42 good day 3442 channel 4551 Break at 3551 across river, flight level 200. Good work, flight level 200 across the river, thank you. Break at 3551. Hello ground. Hi flight tech, good evening, welcome to Chicago, how are you? I'm fine, plane is fine. Uh, yeah. Do you have the shocks on? Uh, yeah, your shocks are in, you may release park brake. And I have to run to another flight, so they're going to give you ground power. Just shut the APU down, leave it on the ground power, and we'll see you tomorrow night. We do. Thank you, see you tomorrow. You're welcome, bye-bye. Welcome to Chicago. Hello.